What are we doing today? Buying a new house. Buying a new house? It's happening this afternoon. Are you excited? So there's the house. There's the woods. I thought it wasn't going to work for a minute. Property line goes up somewhere on the other side of this valley. So, what did I tell you? How how sure am I that we're gonna get the house? Ninety nine point nine percent. You've been asking right all for the last like month. Mhm. Mm yeah. Just to make sure. Just to make sure. So, what's the first thing you're gonna do when we go to the new house today? Do cartwheel? Yeah. <laughs> Good. All right, honey. What are we going to do? Close on the new house. Three o'clock today. We're leaving a little early. Mm -hmm. We have to drop the kids off because COVID rules. Our kids only, can't we're come. only, we're, you and me are the only ones allowed at the closing table, right? Right. So we actually do get to go inside, even though this is day one of Michigan's semi shutdown. Yeah. The new whatever the new lockdown is. Yay. Yeah. So excited. All right. Let's get in the car. Let's do it. Can't wait. Now, this is my kind of real estate place right here. Check that out. Hi. Our kids will love this. Look at all the pumps that run this thing. Yeah, this is <laughs> Mask up in Michigan. Yep. Mask up. Masks everywhere. Chandelier that just tops it off right there. Hey. I actually have our house on this TV. Look at that. There it is. All right, we're almost ready to close, so wait uh, a few more minutes and hopefully start signing some papers. All right, no turning back. It's official. It's official. We actually, everything went way better than I thought. <laughs> really I mean, all the numbers lined up, all the wire transfers happened. Everything yeah. was there, ready to go. We signed uh, two stacks of papers. <laughs> um, and, it was uh, perfect. It was everything about this whole process was perfect. It Stressful. Was, but perfect. We had great good. real realtor, great um, mortgage guys. So. Yeah, so special thanks to Jerry and yes. Brittany um, and all the title company people and everyone else. But, they made it possible. Yep, we're uh, very appreciative of everyone. So we didn't technically get keys, but it's a coded uh, door, so we know the code. We're <laughs> right. going to get the code. It doesn't even code. have keys. So, so yeah. we're going to go meet the girls. Uh, they are going to meet us at the house, and we are going to go in together for the first time you guys there? So there's the house up there in the woods. This will be the new neighbors. Welcome home. Thought it wasn't gonna work for a minute. You think it's not that warm? I'm gonna die on these stairs. I just know it. This this is worse than the White House. <laughs> So this is one of the fireplaces. This has a an insert in it. Uh, looks like it actually has a power cord run to it, so it probably has a blower in it. So this actually will provide a decent amount of heat. Um, these fireplace inserts are nice. So this will be a nice one. This one's on the, uh, the first floor, the upper floor of the house. <laughs> this is a downstairs room. Uh, one of the, my favorite parts about this house was all the interior brick. So there's like this uh, bar here, and then there's like this sunken area that has all this brickwork in it. And so it's really cool. And this is another one of the fireplaces. This is on the lower level. This is another insert, and it also has a blower. This looks like a pretty good size, uh, pretty good size insert. So I'm excited to try these out. Welcome home, girls. There's your bedroom. I'm leaving. I have a vent to Can we step on the curb with our feet? It's getting pink. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Found a utility sink I didn't know was here. This doesn't open. That's strange. One of the first projects. This water heater's got to go. 
we got an on-demand to put in there. This one uh, isn't vented correctly, so. So this is fireplace number three, and this one is a regular uh, fireplace, so we'll be able to need a little log rack in there, I think, but this is a, a, be a nice little fireplace for the, the family room, or great room, I guess this is called. Not really sure about the cork wall. <laughs> We may have to may have to get rid of that quick. So many things to figure out. Two separate heating systems. I think this was for a wood an outdoor wood boiler they used to have. And this doesn't seem to be working at all. And then there's another set of these upstairs for another furnace. So this is in the master bedroom. This is another another fireplace. This is just a regular one. No insert in this one either. So I'm not planning on running all these fireplaces all the time, <laughs> but I might run the the, the uh, insert that has the blowers on it and the uh, main floor and then the lower floor uh, regularly to help heat the home. Uh, obviously we're on propane out here on this at this house, same as we're at the old house. And so uh, running these furnaces, there's two furnaces in this house, so running those furnaces all the time is gonna be expensive. So the more wood I can burn, the better. And I've already seen a lot of downed trees outside. So off the master bedroom, there's a balcony here and you can see Look at all the trees that are down. So this is our only neighbor across the, the valley here. And you can't really see that house in the summertime. And then there's a, a pond down here. We own kind of half of that pond. The property line goes up somewhere on the other side of this valley. Um, and so we own uh, to that, that side of it. But look at all those trees down there. A lot of hardwoods uh, here. A lot of maple, a lot of oak, a lot of hickory, a lot of black walnuts. So I'll be able to come in here and uh, there's lots and lots of wood for me to get that is uh, already laid down for me. So just need to get some equipment. Seems like none of the lights work in this part of the garage, but this is the second two car garage and it has this awesome pegboard room. So I'll be able to put uh, little shelves in here and hang up all my tools. And it's got a light in here, but I guess it's burnt out. So this is going to be, I guess, the farm garage. This is where we'll store <laughs> animal things. This is also, this is in between the two garages. This is a heated workshop. Look at all the power along the back there. We've got some storage. This will be all the tools and saws and all that kind of stuff we can put in here. This is going to be a great, great place to to work in the winter. Well, it, uh, it got late last night and dark, and so we, uh, we went home, we spent the night at the old house, and uh, we're back here in the morning getting more things moved. And so you can see behind me, I've got some things in the garage already. We're filling it up with all the, all the stuff. But today, uh, before we get anything really moved into the house, we have the carpet cleaners here. Uh, we wanna get all these carpets cleaned in this house. Uh, one of the things, and one of the, the things that you know, we noticed right off the bat when we came to this home to look at it was that it had a, an odor. It had the, some, some kind of pet odor, or dog or cat or something like that on the carpet. And so uh, we wanted to make sure that we got that cleaned up right away uh, before we got anything in the house. Eventually the plan will be to take a lot of the carpets out of here and do hardwood flooring or, or uh, you know, life-proof flooring or something like that. Um, but uh, right now we, we can't do it all at once. And so we got to do that in stages. So right now we're getting the carpets clean and today will be filled with a lot more moving. Summer, you woke up early this morning and came to the house with us. The other girls are sleeping, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Bums. The I house. wanted to ring the doorbell. You, want, you like ringing the doorbell? <laughs> so your favorite thing about the house is the doorbell? Well, actually, that's my second favorite. I have, there's a phone. So this is your favorite thing? Yeah, you can hear the noises in the house. It has a fake rotary phone. <laughs> so far, the carpets are getting clean, but they, they're still stained, it looks like, so. Day two of the move, I guess. Yesterday was day one. Yep. How's things going so far? So we have a lot of cleaning to do. Now, they cleaned out the house, but they had some... I don't think they've cleaned in a little while, so... <laughs> no, no disrespect, it's just... And it's something we would do anyway. Our house so will probably be kind of a mess. I think our too. house is, is just like this, too, so if I really got kind of think about it, but other people's dirt, we're going to take care of that today. Bleach it off. Yep. So this is, like, this is the kitchen. 
just a little glimpse. I'll give you. Well, I don't know if I should show this show of all that yet. Maybe we'll have to hold off on that. Yeah, Next go. video. But now you can see in the light a little bit better. This uh, this workshop. It's already. <laughs> I got my work table in here. Uh, moved that over to last night. And so this workshop is. I didn't realize how big this was when we looked at the house. You know, you only get a few a few minutes to come through and look at everything when you're looking at a house and there's a lot to take in and so uh, this is going to be a, an awesome place to organize things in these covers um, there's a work you know table or workbench area there i've got the work table here in the middle um, and then this goes right out to the back uh, deck area and then there's a garage on this side that goes out this will be like like i said earlier the farm garage and then back over here on this side will be kind of our you know garage where we'll park a car and stuff like that um, have all the automotive tools and, and other things so so this actually so this is a, a drive this is a drive that goes up yeah but this is I think that's an edging but I think this is actually a drive that goes down do you see the is it an otter or a beaver so this is a this is the pond, and we don't own the whole thing. We own a, a little less than half of it, I would say. Probably like more like a third of it. Um, the property line kind of goes right through the center here, so. We've got a bridge. We're just gliding all around. And then this valley goes all the way up through Wait there to, and second. then the house sits up on the hill. I just thought of something. We have a water dog. I know, this is going to be a bad... This is going to be really bad. How much you want to bet she jumps in there tonight when we bring her? Oh no. Why did we not think about this? I thought about it the other day. She, she's <laughs> going to be... Our, our, our chocolate lab is probably going to find us and swim every day. It's a cool view. All this wood in here. All these trees down. That's a cherry. Some dead trees. That's good. It would. So we're looking around the, the forest here a little bit, and it's hard to tell a couple different species of maples in this area in Michigan, and it's hard to tell what, what is maple and what isn't without leaves. But, but you can tell on the ground that it's mostly oak trees. I don't see a whole lot of maple. I found a couple already, but they're not very big. So we'll have to see, maybe there's more towards the back of the property. Well, it has been, uh, it's been a, a long uh, day yesterday and a long night. We didn't get done with things till probably one o'clock in the morning and then we're up for the carpet cleaners this morning. I had to be back there at eight. So uh, we are just gonna keep on trucking. We decided not to get a U-Haul. We're gonna just use truck and trailer um, and make a bunch of trips. We've got a couple days to spread the move out. So we're just gonna keep uh, packing up, taking things over and getting things set up. Uh, we do have to wait till probably tomorrow before we can really put furniture on the carpet since it needs some time to dry. So, But I've got lots to sort out at the new house. I found some things that are not working. I've got a fix and troubleshoot uh, and some things with, uh, well, I'll get into that in another video, but lots and lots of work to do. So I'll bring you guys along for that. Uh, more moving to come and uh, lots of things to discover in this new house. I've got lots of things to show you guys. We're, we're just going to be just so much to do and so much to show you guys so so look forward to lots of uh, new content coming out on the SSL Family Dad channel in the new homestead in the woods don't forget to hit thumbs up and thanks for following along if this is your first time here of course subscribe and we'd love to have you tag along for the new adventures on the Woodland Homestead so as always guys thanks for watching